Seattle police say a dog walker in her 80s was carjacked, dragged, and then run over with her own car. Police say the suspect then drove away, leaving the Madison Valley neighborhood shattered. While they search for that dangerous killer, we're hearing from neighbors who saw the terrifying moments play out. In fact, they say a plumber working in the neighborhood saw what happened, ran after the stolen SUV, started smashing it with a baseball bat, and freed some of those dogs. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm David Rose. And I'm Sabir Rayford. Fox 13's Jennifer Dowling joining us near a growing memorial for the victim as a search for that carjack intensifies, Jen. The neighborhood here is indeed shattered at the loss this evening. People have been coming by here all evening and afternoon, leaving flowers, cards, candles, and tributes to the victim. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see this growing memorial here flickering in the night. It's a beautiful tribute to her. One of the cards reading that she was one in a million and stating that she will be missed by all, especially her furry friends. I talked to a witness who said she actually saw the suspect back over the victim as a neighbor neighborhood plumber stepped in and did everything he could to try to stop the carjacker. I heard some commotion, screaming, some, sounded like a crash. Laura Dinan was inside her house when she heard the struggle between a local dog walker in her 80s and a person police described as a carjacker. We got out my front door before I realized there were dogs running down the street and screaming. Dinan said when she got outside, the suspect was already at the wheel of this blue SUV. There was a corgi and a couple doodles in there. She could see that the victim had been run over and was injured in the street and a man was trying to stop the carjacker. He was a plumber working in the neighborhood with, who happened to have a bat on him who was trying to save her. She says he managed to smash out the back window and damage the front, freeing some of the dogs. So the guy with the bat was batting out all the windows, and so some of the dogs were just leaping out. Um, it's just chaos. Neighbors rushed in to give the victim CPR and called it 911. He had her car, he had those dogs. There was no reason to run her over. The carjacker also smashed into her parked vehicle. She showed us the pictures of the damage. It pushed our car forward, so that was the level of impact. The stolen SUV was found around 20 minutes away on South Juno Street near Brighton Playfields. A dead dog was also found with what may have been stab wounds in or near a blue recycling been in the park. There's no reason to attack a helpless animal. Park regular Brian Robertson, who owns a dog himself, called it reprehensible. Oh, it's a little shocking to uh, be hanging out at your local park and hear about a carjacking and a, a dog stabbing. Pretty concerning to everybody in the neighborhood. Neighbor Pi Bateman grabbed her own dog's leashes and treats to canvas the neighborhood. So I thought, well, I can't do anything to help her but I can go look for the dogs and give treats to people who might see the dogs. Dinan believes the woman likely died trying to save the pets. All the dogs that were in the car were not hers. There are other people's in the neighborhood, and she's trying to protect them, I'm sure. And Seattle police are still looking for the suspect at this hour. If you know who is responsible, make sure to contact SPD. Reporting live in Seattle, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.